So I'm gonna show you today a little bit of a garden tour. It's a little bit of the house. And first thing first, gotta wear shoes that are pretty much like steel toe. There's snakes and big spiders, scorpions. You gotta be protected. All right. Okay, shoes on. I even tuck my pants in them so I don't get anything crawling into my into my pants and I'll show you around so when we moved in those that hill was basically completely empty it still looks a bit empty but there's now plants that are growing and gonna take over in this area there's a lot of the plants that I brought from my previous place and look how beautiful that is we are now we are now coming into spring and that's when all the cactuses are blooming so just to let you know the garden is messy because it's work in progress and these are all plants that I brought from my previous place they're all going to be planted in the hill And um, I'm happy that I took the time before I planted everything in because we do have a lot of gophers here and the gophers, they eat everything and I don't want to, you know, poison them or get rid of them. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a different strategy. I'm just going to plant most of them with the pots in the land. So it's like a different style. It actually looks good too. So I'm going to try to keep as many of them as I can in the pot and those clay pots also they kind of absorb the water and soak it in so the plants will get all that nutrition and everything um, it's really pretty now here I'll show you a little bit more so I have a lot of different kinds of agaves I have so many different kinds of succulents and cactuses that I've been growing and they're all very unique and different and this is basically the, the vegetable garden area. So now we've been, um, after the winter, we're kind of starting a new season. I have mint, onions, and I'm going to do again watermelons. A lot of different vegetables. I um, have peppers, eggplant, but this time I'm going to cover them with a net so it will protect it from the different animals. Uh, we get a lot of lemons and tons of tomatoes which I actually eat a lot of the tomatoes use the lemons for salads and stuff like that again just you see the different kind of cactuses they are all very different and, and special so you can see here on the hill for example what I was talking about planting them in the pots in the ground and it looks cool like i like that and i put them sometimes in an angle so it looks like the plants are going to flow down from them so here we're going to continue going up i have a walkway that goes around the whole property and that's i just love doing that walking around taking care of the plants watering them so this is another example of that just put the clay pot lots of little lizards and so these succulents will flow down out of it and continue flowing. A lot of those succulents, that's what they do. They just have this kind of flow and they will cascade down the hill. These pots are going to be planted. Again, things that I brought with me. And the soil will kind of cover around them. I try to cover also a little bit from the back so it gets more water and nutrition. I planted all of these plants here, these cactuses. A lot of people make the mistakes of planting too much and what happens then is that when the plants grow they just suffocate each other so I give them enough space so as they grow they will have good space to get big and healthy and not conflict with each other I love all the different sculptures I bring them from my previous house here again more pots are going to be planted so I did a lot of work here and 
over time it will become more green all of these plants will expand and take over you can see there's little ground coverings like that will grow and expand and take over of course here this ice plant I just put a little clipping of it and now it's already growing so fast this ice plant will cover the entire hill and um, it has these beautiful purple flowers here on the hillside also it's big that's the thing like it's hard to understand how big the scale is i have plants that i thought were super big and then when i moved here they looked so small suddenly but again i use the pots in the ground this plant i got specifically because the hummingbirds like these flowers so a lot of my plants are designed specifically for bees for birds and for hummingbirds and they do come and they love these plants I just love these guys, they get so big. I found this agave on the street, somebody threw it, picked it up, planted it here. And then here too, I do a lot of work, planting new, new plants. Always love the seahorse. Just a lot of different kinds. These guys get tall. They're really cool. So I'm currently working here on this area. It needs a lot of a lot of attention. But slowly, slowly I'm putting more and more plants and they will take over. These are the ones I got from my friend. These are just a couple of them. They're super heavy. But they'll they'll grow and get really big. And um what you see here is nothing. I mean, we have four acres of land outside of the fences and I'll continue working and, and planting plants even outside of the fences. So here again, some more of my plants that I'm going to put around. I love this guy. It looks like corals in the water. We have a lot of olive trees and there's really nice shade over here. All kind of plants that I'm kind of hanging off the trees too. Of course there's a lot of shells and things that look like ocean creatures and seashells. Some are more sculptural. It's just fun to put sculptures in the ground and create those I don't know, those beautiful moments for me. Some more plants that I got for my friend to plant. Here's a hummingbird feeder. This is a really nice hour. We get the sun coming through right before the sunset. So this is the last one I have to plant it's so big it's as heavy as me i think and i'll try to find a good spot for it and get another pair of hands to help me plant it because it's so big so yeah all of these plants i've planted and they'll slowly grow and take over there's a lot of beginnings here This succulent is so cool. The colors are just amazing sometimes. Like some of them are so red. But that combination of green and red, it's really unique. Just a lot of different styles of plants and different styles of planting them. Another one of those big guys. Another one down there. More up there. So one of the things that's really unique about our land here, we have this kind of like a vein of rocks that goes through the land. And they use those rocks to, you know, for, for the actual planters and for the design in the garden. But it's just amazing. 
there's like an endless amount of rocks that we can get here from the from the ground and use um, which helps a lot I used to drive to places out in nature to collect rocks and bring them but here we just have this endless amount and also these just beautiful formations of rock so for me it's like so much joy these guys are planted here too it's just so much joy to have so much real nature to work with and explore so this vein of rocks goes down all the way through the land so some places when i dig i just can take out rocks as i dig and then use them as planters around um, right now most of the planting is really just trying to put as many plants as I can in different places, strategic places, so they'll grow and some is ground covering, so it'll make the hill just be green. And some are just bigger cactuses and succulents, some fruit trees, stuff like that. And then after that, I start um, like decorating it. So using more rocks and things of that nature to make it look nice. Because it takes time until the ground, the soil kind of settles and gets into place, especially when you're on a hillside. So you gotta create those little terraces so the water can flow down, stay where your plant is, and then continue flowing to the next one. Um, otherwise the soil just gets washed away, washed down. But yeah, here we can kind of see down towards the house. We're up by the upper fence and there's, um, there's deer trails up here. So when I walk, I always see the deer coyotes sometimes um, we have crows and hogs and just lots of animals that stop by and like to eat the food that we have and drink the water and we're happy to share with them so we came from there the whole walkway kind of continues around and now we're going to continue around so like i said there's so much land to plant and here you see the those ice plants. So I put them again in strategic places where I have some water going and they will take over. I mean, this is just in a couple of months. This whole hill is gonna be green. And then after that, this whole hill is gonna have these beautiful flowers, which are just amazing. Um, and also the gophers like to eat after the flowers are dead, there's kind of a, a little, Let's see, look at these guys. And the gophers like to eat it. And I'd rather have the gopher eat that than my other plants. So, and this plant is strong and can survive that. So again, trying to divert them from eating my cactuses to giving them the food they actually like. And let's continue going up to the top because there's an amazing view over there. it's always just so nice and quiet here so as you can see another one that i planted here it's very happy as you can see the flowers and it's grown so much i mean i i took a clipping of this size just like one piece and you can cut it put it in the ground and it will just grow so this whole hill by the next winter will be green that's just going to be amazing a little lounge here so, yeah, so this is the view which is incredible that's why i love this place so much it's just an amazing view it's quiet you can just hear the birds and animals keep going more ice plants once again over here too and they will spread out whole thing is going to be green these are all of my um, lemons oranges they're growing here and again whenever there's water and I find that the water flows a certain way then I just plant along that way to get started with so all of these plants I put here because I know they're gonna get their water so again here and all those plants will grow and expand further so again, here you can see that agave, ice plant, 
motorcycle lanes. Again here. So just kind of kind of learn the path of the water and follow it and use that to your advantage when you plant. Put some more ice plants up there. That whole hill will be green. And once again here. I mean look how beautiful that is. And they were just planted not long ago and they're already taking over. Again some more shells. So here too I've been putting a lot of the cactuses I have and the succulents. Some of them in pots, some of them outside of the pots and have them grow. Again, I hope, I hope that the gophers won't eat them and that they will be distracted by other things. But this is very bare right now, so there will be ground covering, like green flowing between all the pots and the plants will grow bigger from the pots. And I'm doing it slowly because as I walk through the land to work on it, um, I don't want to crush other plants. So you have to be kind of careful with that. Some more of these guys. I love these guys. A little moment of meditation in the garden. But yeah, all of these plants are mine. There was literally nothing here when we moved here. I love this one. And soon, as those succulents will grow, we'll have like hair. I see that one of my cactuses is bloom up there. So let's go up there and take a look at those flowers. I could see from down there that this cactus bloomed. And it's quite amazing. Look at that. First of all, we can get rid of some of the weeds. So this cactus is very happy. Look how red that is and how big the flower is. We have to come here when it's um, when the flower is open and see that. That is amazing. Let me get this guy out of the way. That's what's so amazing about cactuses. Most of the year they're so uneventful. But then when they have flowers, the flowers are so their colors and size and everything about them is so magical and so unexpected too. So it's always a surprise when you come and see the flowers. Here you can see, you see those holes, that's the gophers. So um, they really like this area, but hopefully, like I said, they'll focus on those flowers over, over there. I have all kinds of different plants. They're very cool. Some more flowers. This guy's like has a crown of flowers. We have a basketball court here at the back of the house. And out there is the vineyard. Last year we got so many grapes, it was amazing. And they were so good, I was eating them every day. So this year, can't wait for that. So this is our little vineyard. And I'll probably expand it a bit more because it's so happy here, it grows so much. But you can see, we are Starting to have grapes coming out. And there's so much, like there was more than I could eat. And we actually gave a lot to friends and family. So yeah, the grapes are growing. And once again, look at that. That's the view. Some more ice plants down here. 
So this is my compost. That's one that was finished and now that soil I'm going to use. And then this is the current compost. I always put some weight on it because different animals will try to get in there and eat <laughs> everything. So it's important to make sure it's weighted down. We had a lot of rain, so it's really green out here now. Let's look at all those are just wild flowers. We also have a lot of oak trees. So these are, they're beautiful big oak trees. And let me show you. They create shade and really nice areas below them. And they're so big. This is why we need these shoes because you never know if there's a snake down there or not. More of the ice plants that will take over. But yeah, these are the oak trees. They're so big. I think there's an owl nest up there. We hear the owl at night. And there's a small area behind the house. We have a fountain here. And the rose garden. Same here, I've been planting a lot. This guys again. So I'm gonna plant them around here soon. Gotta find the exact spot for them because I want to see them from the house. So this is the entrance to the house and then you look out. I wanna look out here and see everything green. This is our rose garden. I love those terraces and white walls. Just a nice, nice aesthetic. Again, the sunset. And the sound is just so beautiful. You just hear the trees in the wind, the leaves, the palm trees, the oak trees. Let me show you the roses because they are amazing. You can only smell them too. But their their color and the smell is incredible. They just started. There's gonna be so many of them soon. This is just the beginning. So this area back here is also a work in progress. These are plants that I brought from my other place and um, I'm gonna change this area altogether. So it will be more of like a, like a little personal playground. We'll be able to go out, out here with the kids and play. It's more shaded and protected. So this will be some kind of a playground with toys and things like that. Um, I want to find or create some kind of a structure for the, this is the wisteria. And um, I always loved it. I just didn't know it smells so good. I mean, it just like smells like jasmine. So I want to create a structure for it to grow and expand. So we'll have this beautiful wisteria covered shade. Some more of my cactuses. They're all very different and unique. And um, I just work really hard to keep them alive and to make sure none of them die. Which is not always easy, but... These I got for Trisha, she really wanted them. So they're back here. We're basically outside of her office here. So here we have, it's connected to this side. When we complete the walk from all the way around and back down, you get to here. And this is kind of a Zen garden. Um, this is an almond tree. And I think this one has um, prunes or plums. They're tasty. I've ate them last season. Now I see a lot of them growing. 
we'll get um, a lot of squirrels here. The squirrels love eating those too, so they'll be hanging out here a lot. These are some more plants that I'm going to plant. Some of my cactuses that I brought here. And yeah, they're all, I've had them all for years. And um, you develop a relationship with your plants and just love seeing them, you know, grow. Especially like ones that look like they're underwater plants. So creating that feeling. So yeah, this area, I can't wait to finish this area because it'd be kind of more of a Zen and meditation garden type zone. From there, we get back towards the house. Here again, I have more plants that I brought that are going to be planted. I just let them, I give them some time to adjust before I, because it's, it's a shock, especially if you replant them. But again, there's a lot of different cactuses, different kinds, and they're all very pretty once you see their like geometries and shapes. Of course, we'll put the ones that have more spikes and not friendly to the kids, we'll put in places that kids are not gonna get to. Jade and more succulents. They're all so happy. We have confetti from the gender reveal. <laughs> I've been cleaning that for a couple of days now, but I don't know, I really like it. It makes me happy when I see this confetti. Oh, I love this guy. Look at that. It's like a mandala. It's so beautiful. So, yeah, so again, a lot of different cactuses and plants that will grow beautifully and infinitely here. A lot of these guys, more shells. This is a very old pot that I found in a thrift store. It's just so beautiful. And from here we get back to the house where the pool is. Um, I have some plants over here too. More cactuses and stuff that grow. These guys are so incredible. And soon with all the flowers you'll get lots of bees here. So if you want to support the bees just have flowers. Make sure you have flowers and the bees will come. Look how beautiful that is. So, yeah, so I'm trying to have more greenery here. So when we look up from the pool, this will all be green. And uh, it's happening slowly. You see all those green dots, basically. And those will grow very fast and fill in the space. This is a new one that I just planted. This sculpture came from Trisha's house and some more again cactuses having flowers now so yeah, it's it is messy but it's a lot of beginnings once you see which plant is happy where, then you keep it there, and the ones that are not, you move on and put them in another place. But altogether, it's really fun. These plants are gonna be planted too. When you want to give them time to adjust, it's good to put them in a shade, shaded area so it's not as harsh. And then they adjust a little bit, and after that you can plant them and we have a fireplace here by the pool and the hot tub some furniture we need to move them back to their places after the gender reveal these big planters I'm gonna plant soon it's another new pot that I got 
more olive trees. And, oh yeah, we have a little bit of, so these are all jasmine plants. Again, the smell is amazing. And some of my planters, again, lots of fish and succulents that are flowing down. So this area is work in progress. It's not yet finished, but these guys are having flowers soon and they're beautiful purple flowers. So this whole thing is gonna be purple here. We got our Easter bunnies, because Easter is coming. And one of my favorite sculptures, it's from Mexico. It's hand painted. Of course, the water snake. And our Easter bunnies. So yeah, this is where we started. Um, I'll give you a bigger tour where we can walk outside there. It's, there's like a oak grove and the deer trails. There's more to see, but I just wanted to show you basically my walk every day as I walk around, plant, take care of the plants, water the ones that need to be watered and slowly develop all of this. And all of this is gonna be green and lush and, uh, and beautiful, healthy. So this is the garden tour for today. Um, it'd be nice to see over the, over time, like, you know, in a couple of months, in six months, in a year, how everything develops and how it just grows so much. And I like to see the progress and the growth of nature in a way. So uh, time to get some water. I'm definitely thirsty. And uh, we'll see you in the next tour.